being that it's the 50th year anniversary of women in sports at Seton Hall, what does it mean to be at such a big special event like this? Um, I mean, it means a lot, you know, to be at something like this. Um, I think, you know, it's super important for, for the sport um, and to be a part of that, um, to be around former um, student athletes, um, current Hall of Famers um, that paved the way for someone like myself. I think it's just, it's just a great event and I'm, I'm just honored to be here. You guys were able to pull out the win this morning. How special was that for you and your team? Uh, I mean, it was great, you know, to have um, some former student athletes in court side. Um, they were cheering a ton all game. I think, you know, it was, it was just great to have, um, you know, the turnout that we did and to have a win. Um, and also to celebrate Coach B's, um, you know, 500th win. Were there any former teammates or anybody that you knew from when you played at Seton Hall there today? No, unfortunately not. Um, I think, you know, moving forward, um, you know, I think that is, a, you know, area that I would want to, you know, improve a little bit more, just, you know, reaching out. Um, and, you know, you know, whether it's myself, Coach B, or our uh, director of basketball operations, I just think it's super important for them to be here, you know. Um, they're also a part of this. Um, and, and they definitely want to be a part. I just think, you know, um, just constantly just – Continuing to spread the word, um, you know, so that they can attend events like this, I think it'd be huge. How are the conversations being able to communicate with alumni that came before you? Wow, I mean, we went to the panel um, yesterday um, and to hear them speak about, you know, just where it all started, how it began, and, um, you know, about their practices, their travel. Um, it, I mean, it was, it was, it was a huge eye-opener, um, and it just made me be a little more appreciative of just being a, um, a former student athlete at Seton Hall and, and, all, and also a Hall of Famer, you know, because they paved the way for, you know, for someone like myself. Um, so it was, it was it, this, you know, this event is huge. It's huge for Seton Hall athletics, um, and, I, you know, I hope that we continue to push this um, thing moving forward. I know you're a coach, so you give advice every day, but what's some advice that you would give – off your team or to any Seton Hall student female athlete, what's some what's some advice that you would give them? Um, you know, you, you if you're gonna do it, you know, um, do it with passion, um, and, and then you know control the things that you can control, your effort and your attitude, um, and then go for it. Stay the course. Always work on your craft, um, and then you know, um, whether it's on a field or the basketball court, um, academics is just as important. You know, um, I think sometimes that get lost, but is extremely important um, and you know it's the reason why um, you know I, I'm here um, to speak today you know to um, represent you know not only women's basketball but you know a student athlete as well here at Seton Hall um, and, and someone like myself who, who was successful so um, just stay the course stay in the you know stay in the books work on your craft um, and you have to do both you know you, you have to be a student athlete you know you just can't be an athlete and you know and just you know do what you got to do. Thank you I appreciate it.